It's Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing a follow-up video related to YSTRs. And I see so many people asking questions about lower level tests on YSTRs. And I'm going to say, should you focus on them? And there's a couple of points here that you do want to listen to as we go through this video. My personal login, and these are family members, I see people looking at the lower level tests and get their mind so bent into, hey, I got new matches, I got exact matches at 12 markers, or I have exact matches at 25 markers, or I have exact matches at 37. Now, exact matches at 37, which I'm going to take us to that level for this discussion here. My top three, which should be no surprise, I have my father and my two cousins here. One of them is an exact match at 37. And one of them is one step. Even at a second cousin once removed level, which is what this re these really are, there is a deviation. There is, there is an issue of finding an exact match that close. But it also could be that there's an exact match and it's a long distance. You don't want to say, oh, I've got an exact match, so they are definitely my direct line within the last few generations. That's not true. What it means is they're more likely to be within genealogical time frame. It does not mean you're going to find your uh, most recent common ancestor within the last uh, couple hundred years just because you have an exact match, exact, especially when you go and look at low level testing. When you look at that low level testing and you got 506, like in my case here, I am not anywhere near close to all of these people in this at this level here. Am I an exact match? Well, I'm an exact match for my three cut, my dad, my, and my two second cousins. If I scroll down a little bit further, you're gonna be an exact match at 12 for a lot of people in most cases. Only if you have a YSTR that flips in the first 12, and no one else does, do you see a deviation there? It's, there's nothing significant about 12 markers anymore. It, it, it was something in the beginning to think about. You, can, you should not look at these as any more important to you than just the fact that it sets that basis for you. If you don't have very many matches, then you can look at those and start seeing if they'll upgrade, but the likelihood of some of them being really relevant to you is extremely unlikely. I'm also going to now take it up to the 25. So again, it's the first 25 that is reported by Family Tree DNA. My dad and my second cousins once removed match, and then I have someone one step at that level uh, down below here, and another one that's at one step. And that's because my particular family line, including my cousins and my father, we have a, a marker and a YSTR that changed. All of us have that change. It is one unique to our branch. I'm only one step away from this group of men here, but in reality of it is we have not found our common ancestor yet within genealogical time frame, even though they're only one step at 25. Now, when we go up to 37, it's more relevant. You should actually have your true top level, R, I, K, J, T, whatever your hepo group is, the, the top level of it, at 37. The first person below that that shows up is a Barton uh, that is still only one step at 37. The fact of the matter is, though, they, they are in a different group than me in our project. They're far enough away. We're talking... We don't expect that we match for over 600 years before we even relate. So even with one YSTR difference, this group in our project, they're still not that close to us. It's, again, not something to assume. The 67 here, and again, I'm trying to block the names to the sides while I'm zoomed in like this. At 67 markers, I'm still one step from one of my first cousins was removed. It's unique to his line. The first few Bartons that show up, they are in a group that's in my branch, but we still are looking at the 1600s AD for our match here. Just because they're only two steps at 67, they're still not within my EKA of, hey, this is only a couple hundred years away. It's my father or, or I'm a great-great-grandfather type of thing that's not there yet. 
assumptions that just because you have a low genetic distance you, does not mean gener generation distance and remember that so my top matches with one two steps in at 67 are within hundreds of years 400 years so it's getting tighter but it's still not to where we can say hey we, we know who it is yet. We're still working on it. That's what we all got to do. We all got to continue to work on our matches and keep building our tree bottoms up. Where am I at? Where's my dad at? Where's my second cousins at? So now these are matches at 111 markers. I'm just not showing at the top here so I don't show their names. We are at one genetic distance at my one of my second cousins once removed. We're at two genetic steps or distance on that other first cousin although these two here at one at four and one at five are in our section of the big Y block tree they are not within the 300 year or 400 year time frame we're just not there yet with these group of individuals now I'm going to bring up the block tree and show it that way so I brought up my block tree to show what I was talking about earlier those individuals that showed up on the chart that I showed you previously are, this is my father and I, this is my second cousins once removed. You didn't see this individual and you did not see this individual in the previous part of this video. You saw this guy, which is several generations upstream here. That's why we just say the 1600s. And you even saw one outside of this one up into this section and over here that a person was at like five steps at the Y111. So what that means is this. If you have matches at the highest level of YSTRs that are used for genealogy at this point, the Y111, if you have matches and they have five steps or fewer, it's very plausible and likely you're inside a 600 year window to them or 700 year window to them but it does not mean you're within your great grandparent or your great great or your great 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 grandparent with them the more you test the more likely you're going to break down your private snips so i pause that for a second if you notice a gap here between what i was saying and this they're not displaying each person's uh, private variance differences. I went over in the display section and they're turned on to show that there are private uh, variants, show private variants, but it is not displaying that for me. That is something I'm not sure why it's doing that. Each one of these cousins have some. This individual here has several, so I'm not sure why it's not showing that. But with that said, every time you look at one of these, some people use 83 years, some people use a different number that just say you use 50 years between this from the date of the earliest person that had it and so for the sake of discussion my father was born in 1924 so we say this is 1875 and then we back this one up another 50 years the earliest that would be is uh, 1825 uh, which actually relates to our great-grandfather born in 1830 50 years off of that It'd be 1775, roughly. And then you take two here, and you look at this one at the earliest that would be is another 100 years off, be 1620, right? And then take another 50 years is 1575. So what I'm trying to say there is, is you're going to step up just with 50 years between them. And it's more if you use the 83 standard a lot of people use. Hopefully what this is doing for you is telling you when you're looking at YSTRs, you use them to find others to see if you can get them to upgrade. You look at them, it gets you into a group of people that do match you genetically. Uh, higher up you go, if you have matched somebody at Y37, you don't know how far back it actually is. A thousand years could be easily. Uh, or it could be within a few hundred years. You do the, at the Y111, you match someone, it's more likely you'll find, more likely you'll find a relationship within 500 years, especially if the number of YSTRs is, is uh, about 
five, six, or less if the, the difference is between the two of you. If you're at Y111 and you have 10 YSTRs difference, I don't expect to find who this is. If you have zero with them, you can expect to find uh, who that EKA is within genealogical time frames. I, I'll just kind of generally throw that out there. Just don't put a lot of focus on just because you match somebody at one of the low levels, 12, 25, 37, to assume you're going to find a common relationship because it is extremely likely you're not. Uh, the more genetic distance there is, uh, the less likely you're going to find that match. And even if you're an exact match for someone, uh, it's possible convergence. We have a recent tester that tested into our project and that person at the low level y37 matched into our project as soon as they tested at y111 they're not going to be in our project any longer uh, because they tested and and they got a lot of differences differences and we're pretty sure we know where they're going to end up landing uh, in another project hopefully this is helpful to you if you if it was please consider subscribing right here or watching some of these other videos let's continue learning together